So right through there. So from the from the real CPI move, remember this overshoot was ahead of CPI. So from the real 830 high down into that low, this is the 50%. And that's your Fibonacci sell zone if we're talking about a short move. So what's interesting about this is this is where it really starts to shift. This afternoon kind of drift here. We don't know that it is at this point, we don't know for sure that it's going to settle into a range day. It does become more clear in NQ, which again, I'll go over in a bit. But at this point, we don't know that, you know, today's just going to be a range day, a, a, a tighter, tighter kind of sideways day. So what I do like is actually this opportunity right through here. Okay. The structure has now shifted favorably for at least a retest of that key daily support price is most likely going to be probing that key daily support just to really see what type of appetite buyers have so you get that break below vwap now again if you're a vwap trader you don't really want to be shorting a break of vwap let price trade lower come back retest there's your entry there's your entry. Take some off into that intraday structure. Try and hold it for the lows if you can. In this case, it just drifts back. Another, another entry, right? If you want to take that by all means. But what is what is the difference here between these entries and these? Talking about essentially the same price, but wildly different expected value. And the difference is, is that we now have favorable market structure to actually be shorting. You have, the, you have a local high that's already been made. It's not established over here. Over here, we're making assumptions about where the high is. At this point, we have a local high that is, it's been established. It's there. This is objective. It's not my opinion. It's right there, right? So here, okay, well, this is our, our first look at a potential lower high. Here's another lower high. Vastly different trades, but all at the same price. All at the same price, wildly different expected value. Here we're making assumptions about the high. We have no market structure on our side. Here we know the high is already, at least we have a local high. We don't know it's the high for the session, but we have a local high. And we're kind of on that, we're on that backside, right? Here's, here's your front side, here's your backside. So we're on the backside of that move, way different trade. So again, th these are details, small details that have such a large impact on your success as a trader. I encourage you to really study these different opportunities and try and wrap your mind around what I am saying right now, all right? So price makes a fresh session low there. And again, I do love this as a long opportunity, remembering that this is all key daily support. So show me, you know, maybe a five minute hammer or two minute hammer or something like that through here that really sets up nice and I'll, I'll gladly try longs. I'll trade an NQ all day, but this is that Wyckoff spring type of trade. We get the undercut of session low and it's right into that daily support zone. Don't short, don't short session lows. See if buyers step in, see if it gets absorbed and look at the monster long that gets put in here. I mean, again, on my screen, it looks like nothing because of the scale, but we're talking, yeah, it's huge, 20, 23 points. You can really make your week just on one trade like this right now at this point right around here we start to really and especially once this cell comes in we start to pretty much know that this is like it, it's later in the day much later in the day but if you're still on the screen set at this point we pretty much know it's a it's a range day it's a rotational day and so you know you want to be looking at these opportunities here versus that daily support to be grabbing longs this was the big clue for me in NQ, which again, we'll visit in a moment that that made for a pretty large day on, on my end.
once we have more market generated information, the afternoon sessions on a high volume day like today can be really, really lucrative. So those are some of the uh, some of the easier trades on ES. I do like some of that pre-market action. I do like these opportunities through here if you're thinking short as a scalp. But my favorites are actually the longs right through here later in the day, even the afternoon session over here. Phenomenal. Uh, even this one is decent as a long. So.